<laughs> so today I asked for a topic on Facebook again and Twitter and all that fun stuff and my lovely friends from out in Chicago, Diagon Alley, which is an awesome wizard rock band everyone should go check out, um, gave me a great topic. They gave me funny cats and medieval beheadings. <laughs> which I responded back with, funny cats? Yay! And then I know nothing about beheadings, and they're like, well, we gave you an easy one and a hard one, so I do homework. And I laughed at that because that was funny and I went along with it. So for the funny cat portion, I brought over Buddy because he needs to be part of this portion. So he's just going to get here and get some loves. He's not very happy about being involved in this video. So we're going to just keep petting him and hopefully he'll behave. My favorite internet funny cat is by far Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat is phenomenal. There is very rarely a time, and I'm looking at pictures of Grumpy Cat right now, there is very rarely a time that Grumpy Cat does not make my life so much better. <laughs> I seriously love this thing. Anytime it's used as a meme just is awesome. Grumpy Cat applies in all, all areas of everything. Medieval beheadings is a little bit harder of a topic, though, because if I go and search the internet for it, I get a lot of history about beheadings, or a lot of history about medieval times, just not beheadings in medieval times. Um, medieval times was about when the guillotine was starting to being used, and... Um, a lot of things that come up with the guillotine is, like, the horror stories of that people started, um, staying alive. Like, you, the, the quick beheading, like, since there's still blood and it doesn't damage the brainstem, can still have the person kind of blink and, like, muscle reactions still happen and that's just creepy and I kind of don't need that. Um... Beheadings are a difficult topic. It's kind of gross and morbid, and a really awesome one happened on Game of Thrones. <laughs> but I won't tell you who, but it was pretty rad, I gotta say. Not first season, not that one, but like, there's a lot of beheading in that show. Let's stick people's heads up on a pick and eat the wolves. Oh, that's a funny topic. One of the things about beheadings in Game of Thrones was that the prop masters used a mask of President George W. Bush on one of the sticks, and it was visible for the first season of HBO and originally on the DVD, and they mentioned it, and then they had to pull the DVD because people took offense to it, and... Oh my god, but you can't see it anymore because the DVD doesn't have it and they, they took all reference of it, but it actually happened. They had a mask of, and it was available in the prop department, so they use it and they thought it'd be like an Easter egg or something funny, but like people took offense to it and they had to apologize and it was all over the internet. I'm glad how this has become Game of Thrones talk and not medieval beheading talk, but that's how it's gonna go. I was asked by my boyfriend if I was watching hockey, which is no, because I'm making my video. So yeah, Buddy's just chilling. He's being a good key cat right now. Um, Vita's almost over, guys. I almost got through an entire month of vlogging, and I'm kind of gonna be a bit relieved when Vita's over, because then I don't have to make a video every day, but it'll also let me have, like, an actual thing to talk about when I do make videos, or an actual reason to be making a video, not just because I'm doing something every day in April. Um, I don't know, I've been asked, but I don't know if I'm gonna also do vlog every day in August, but that may happen, I don't know, um, we'll see. This video has gone long on, gone on long enough. Hey Diagon Alley, I'm really sorry if this doesn't have enough beheading talk, but it kinda went into Game of Thrones, so yeah. I think that should be good, I can guess I can surf the internet some more and try to find out more in beheadings, but 
I don't really want to do some homework and find beheading talk. <laughs> um, if you're dissatisfied, I'm sure you'll tweet at me. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh wait, will I? No, I won't. Oh my god. Crap. I do have makeup videos to do, so there'll be more. Um, I'll get to those makeup videos sooner or later, guys. I will see you soon.